Hey guys and happy Monday. It is Tiff here again and we are going to be using this beautiful journal that I made in Nellie Wartman's um, class that she has available and I've talked about it a few times and so I have a random mix of papers here and fabrics as well you can see and I wanted to make this more about a collage um, style journal than paint today so I believe if my memory serves me right I used um, only coffee and collage papers so yeah that's fun and so I'm using some of the that's the tissue paper that I recently did in the jelly printing on tissue paper video and I set it to the side. I felt like it was a little bright um, for her, probably because I was doing this in, in the um, right after, um, actually while I was having my coffee. So maybe that's why. Um, and so I'm just digging through the random variety of papers that I have, just kind of getting a feel for some of the giblets and scraps and then the full size um, sheets of paper that I have as well. And so I'm just kind of getting a feel and... Um, I really think in the mornings, like morning time is a great time for me to create. I just feel like the juice is flowing. And I think that's from many years of having to art before I actually left and went to work. So I just created a practice of morning time collage. So I'm looking and I'm kind of feeling that. And then I start like having that self-talk of like, oh, I don't know. I'm not sure. And then I said, screw this. I'm about to glue some stuff. So if you ever have those moments where you just like him haul and... Yeah, hem haul. I say that a lot, I think. If you're just tinkering around and just like, I don't know, nah, 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 um, go ahead and just get that glow stick out, honey, and just slap that stuff down. It is just paper, right? So even me, Tiff, who is all about going with the flow and doing what you do and all that, I still have those moments of self-talk where I'm like, oh, I'm not sure, blah, blah. But then I would say, girl, it's just paper. Glue that stuff down. It'll be okay. If you don't like it, you can either peel it up or... Or guess what it's paper you can actually paint over it you can collage over it it's not a life or death situation so I am going to use some of my beautiful vintage uh, love letters from George and Espy those of you who are, have been with my channel for quite some time you know about the love letter lot between George and Espy from way back in the day that I bought off of eBay like I don't know a hundred plus letters and so, I actually, when I do tea for kombucha, I let the tea bags, I take the tea bags out and I let them dry on top of uh, letters or paper or whatever. I um, mean, you get some really interesting variations in there. And this, um, I believe somebody gifted me this uh, paper of really cool Dodge um Sorry, guys, I'm in the vehicle actually doing this voiceover, and my husband is checking in on me. So, um, okay, so yes, I this paper came from somewhere, and I love it. Whoever you are that sent it to me, I just know when people send me paper because I did not make that. So, thank you, person. And I'm going to tear that off. I felt like it was kind of overplaying some of the beautiful colors that I had there and decided just to rip it up and then move it. And I actually got a little piece of the color from the bottom um, because it actually tore the paper, which worked to my advantage because it kind of broke up that top area as well. Um, so, you know, interesting things happen when you remove the stress of wondering how something will look in the long run so 
um, you know, I think it's uh, really interesting and very organic when you let the interesting things just happen the way they do. So I am going to use some masking tape here because, well, everything is better when you use a little masking tape. And I'm just going to randomly plop some masking tape around the areas. If you're new here, um, I just really use masking tape all the time for added texture and just because I like it. So if you have something you like, you don't really have to have a reason as to why you use it. Just use it, girl. It's going to be all right. And now I'm breaking out my coffee. And this is espresso or like really strong um, instant coffee that I keep in this little jar. And I'm going to just plop it down and add some extra warmth and hues and um, just really let the papers uh, kind of play. And then I'm going to go around the edges there and allow those torn bits to just kind of uh, have some fun and absorb some of that coffee darkness that it brings and then the cool thing about using coffee is as you heat it up with your heat tool to dry it you get this beautiful smell of fresh brewed coffee huh you cannot beat that i love the smell of coffee so it's really kind of a twofer you get to enjoy the color but you also get to enjoy the smell as well and so i'm just kind of letting the drips do what they do and uh, allowing this to kind of dry in between the layers because of course in all good tiffany fashion i have no idea what's coming next i'm just enjoying the moment of right now and then i'm going to work um to see what else is going to be popping so i hope you had a beautiful weekend i hope that you're going to have a blast this week and uh, that you're figuring out how life is in your quarantine stay at home whatever situation you may be facing um, out there i hope that this uh, video inspires you to take time to create and nurture your soul with art and glue sticks and paint and goodness and i am still really contemplating and really wanting to use this spine the book spine it does not make i don't think it makes its way in there but i tried real hard sometimes you really just want things to work and your muse just says hold up sister girl uh -uh. Mm -mm, not today um so maybe that um book spine is destined for another uh piece of work because it did not make the cut when it came to this and i am using that china marker in white here I am again. I, I tore the book spine in half and I'm still trying to force it onto the page. And then also in my looking for something, I found these Tim Holtz label stickers and I thought, man, I really like these. I, maybe I should just write something out with the label stickers. And then I hem and hauled again. And then I went and found my Click magazine and I really liked this little girl and how the kind of like vintage wallpaper look. I don't know. I just felt like it was grungy. I felt like there was a message there and I wanted to take and use the coffee to kind of deepen and darken um, the areas of white around there. And, um, you know, magazine paper really absorbs um, coffee really well so it didn't take but a little bit to kind of get those edges looking like they were weathered and had been there through the whole thing right so I did dry that uh, really well for you and I'm kind of zooming in so you can see the little girl and I'm tinkering around with kind of how I want to lay her on the page and I still want to not cover up all of that lush color in the back so I'm going to just decide to glue her over to the right hand side a little bit and really you know a lot of times I take and tear the um, pages in kind of half and here I thought that this just played really well with the whole feel and energy of grungy goodness that I love so much. And of course, the masking tape is going to make another appearance. Did it have to? Nah. Does it add a little something something? 
yeah so I just let it do its thing and I'm going to go ahead and use that coffee um, that I had going on um, to my benefit and you know if you don't have instant coffee and maybe you brew a cup of coffee keep that strong day old coffee and see what kind of rich colors that it actually gives you I think that uh, you may be pleasantly surprised if you never use coffee in your work so I made some splats and I'm Babe, where are you going? Oh, okay, sorry guys. <laughs> I thought he was making a wrong turn there. Um, so I am just letting the splatters do what they do, and I still wanted to use Tim Holt's uh, label letter since I had them out. So I I actually put those on a ruler because they're so little, and I had to write the word out. So I am going to use the word shadows to kind of complete this. Um, complete this uh, page today and I really think it says exactly what I wanted it to. It's amazing how art has a way of doing that, right? So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for hanging out um, with me. If you would, please make sure you click the subscribe button. Um, it helps me and my channel out. Also, leaving those comments and uh, thumbs up also helps me out as well. So, if you would, go ahead and do that. I would love it if you would share my videos with any of your art friends that you have out there and let them know that they need a little Southern Gals designs in their life as well. Thank you so much for joining me, guys. And until next time, toodaloo!